Wargaming's Chaos Tactics. Mini Wargamer Dave here from MiniWargaming.com. Welcome Wargamers to the special Tactica series where I'm going to be dissecting all of the awesomeness that Blood Angels have to offer. And believe me, there's a lot of awesomeness. I'm going to be starting with the HQ choices because you can't have an army without a leader. And this particular video is going to be focusing on Mephiston. And the reason why it's going to be focusing on Mephiston is because for those of you who have watched some of my battle reports, you know that I field Mephiston a lot on the battlefield. And he is sick because Papa Nurgle touched him with his imbued scepter of ghoulish niceness and he has to go to the doctors. I, I don't know what I'm saying right now. He, he's just sickly awesome on the battlefield and he kills stuff really easily. Here is our little friend right now. Mephiston. Disputably the best HQ in the Blood Angels Codex. First off, he's a Psyker. Typically Psykers can only use one Psychic Power per turn, but he can use three. That's how awesome he is. The Psychic Powers that he has are the Sanguine Sword, which basically allows him a Strength 10, killing anything. Unleash Rage, which gives him the preferred enemy, Universal Special Rule. And Wings of Sanguinius, which essentially give him a Jump Pack. His war gear includes Artificer Armor, which isn't exactly the same as Terminator Armor. You get your 2 plus save with it, but it doesn't slow you down when you move. It also doesn't give you an invulnerable save, which Mephiston has not. He doesn't have an invulnerable save. He's always wanted one, but he just doesn't have one. Some of the other HQ make fun of him for this, but he's got a plasma pistol, frag and crack grenades, a force sword. That's right, he's able to instant kill multi wound creatures that aren't eternal warrior. And then the psychic hood. So he puts the hood over his head and he says, all right, if you're within 24 inches, we do a showdown, Wild Wild West style. We roll a die, if we tie, you win. But if I beat you, you don't get to use your psychic ability around me because I don't allow it. His stat line is below. As you can see, he's a very beefy character. He can't be instant killed with anything that's not a force weapon because of how high his toughness is. But if he is hit with a force weapon, he can be instant killed because he's not eternal warrior. He doesn't have an invulnerable save, like I said before, so be careful where you place him. He's not an independent character, which means you can't attach him to a squad, which means he can be targeted. But the good thing about that is that you can put squads in front of him and use them as shields, giving you a cover save. That's good because you know that there's going to be a lot of weapons focusing on you because you're a Mephiston, especially weapons that negate armor save. And he's got five wounds. I mean, that's a lot. It's going to take a while for anything to chew through that. Unless your enemy totally focus fires on him, which is great, because then you have the rest of your army to advance and get forward and kill stuff while they've focused on Mephiston, and chances are they haven't killed him first round. Unless it's like volleys of shots from Imperial Guard, and they're kind of really mad at you. That's not anything against you, Jordan. I know you're in the background and you're listening to this. As soon as I said Imperial Guard, I, I knew that you were listening. And his other special rule is called Transfixing Gaze. I forget to use this rule a lot, just because the majority of times, there isn't a special independent character choice that I can use it on. The odd time that I leave a note on my army builder printout reminding me to use it, the enemy doesn't even have a character that I can use against. A single enemy independent character I can enthrall and gaze upon him and I get to reroll all my failed two hit and two wound rolls against him. I mean, it's pretty ridiculous. But that's only if he fails his leadership, which he gets a minus four modifier to, which is awesome. Chances are I'm gonna be able to transfix somebody with my gaze. Don't forget the transfixing gaze. That's the voice that goes on in my head when I field him, but it just always leaves. I guess it's not loud enough. Maybe you gotta yell it on the streets or something. Let's not forget the fact that he's got fleet. If you got nothing to shoot with your plasma pistol, run up a little further by all means. You might be in range to assault something. That's the goodness of fleet. Now in terms of tactics, there isn't a secret tactic. Basically you know that he's really strong, he's gonna be really hard to kill. He can kill almost anything, whether it be a monstrous creature, hordes of troops, vehicles, whatever he touches, he kills. That's Mephiston. You give Mephiston to a brand new player in 40K, he's gonna be able to kill stuff with it. But there are a few key things to keep in mind when fielding Mephiston. Because he is such a strong character, you know that the enemy is gonna to want to focus fire on him. So if you're fielding vehicles, deploy him behind one of your tanks, negating line of sight. That just gives you an extra round maybe of him being alive and not being shot at, having full five wounds before you get up there and start to do stuff. The other thing is moving him up, always using your wings of Sanguinius so that you get your jump pack, and moving him up behind other units, giving him a cover save. Like I said before, you know there's going to be a lot of weapons firing at you negating your 2 plus save. I find I best use Mephiston against units that are really expensive. Sure, you can have a lot of fun killing a whole bunch of infantry, but you're wasting your points if he dies after that because he's 250 points. Eh? And sure, you might get the satisfaction of killing a whole bunch of guys all in one round or whatever, making them run away, chasing after them. He's got a really high initiative. But it's better if you kill large things with him. Take out a land raider with him. Major points back. 
take out monstrous creatures with him. You're going to be able to assault first, and you can take out all those wounds with your force weapon. That is his best use. If none of that is on the table, then just run him up against a unit that is stronger than just your regular garden variety troop choice, and kill it with him. Another good idea is to field a sanguinary priest close by. You can't attach him to Mephiston because he's a single model, but you can at least have him close by, within six inches, giving Mephiston furious charge and feel no pain. That definitely improves the survivability of Mephiston, making all those attacks that much more juicy. You know, for such a strong guy, you're kind of small, and you're painted with blonde hair. What's up with that? That really has nothing to do with nothing. I just thought I'd throw that in there. And the last thing that I would like to mention about Mephiston is that he's got this ability where if you field him on the table, you're gonna instill fear into your opponent. He's gonna be second guessing his moves because he knows how strong Mephiston is. And if he doesn't know how strong Mephiston is, the unknown factor of thinking of how strong he is will be even more amplified, making your opponent second guess his moves and not know what to do because, ooh, there's Mephiston on the table. I don't want him to get near me. It's worked, I've seen it. In fact, some guys, they're so terrified of Mephiston, they freeze. They don't want to attack him because they're afraid they're gonna lose their guys when they attack him. And they wanna shoot everything at him, but yet they don't want to because they know that they may not kill him and then they'll actually not kill other things that they want to kill because those things can kill them. That's a whole roundabout circle in the circle of Warhammer life here. Mephiston, field him, he wants you to field him, he is awesome. He is the Lord of Death. He's called that for a reason. All right, thank you very much for watching this tactics video of this HQ Blood Angel series.